Hey guys, this is my eight week pregnancy vlog. Um, I just filmed my seven week pregnancy vlog, so if you're seeing a clothing repeat, it is because um, I just did my seven weeks and I'm gonna be eight weeks tomorrow, so I'm gonna go ahead and film my eight week pregnancy vlog today. Um, okay, so in my seven week pregnancy vlog, I spoke about um, trying out a new midwife practice and that appointment will be on Tuesday um, and I talked about during my seven weeks um, at the very end of my seven weeks I started on Zofran and I've been on it for about a week now so um, I would say that it is helping um, one thing I've noticed though with it is that when I was not on medication I was a lot more sensitive to the foods I shouldn't or should eat. Um, now, I had, like, serious food aversions. Um, like, I couldn't really eat anything, honestly. Um, the one food that I could eat was um, saganaki, which I don't know if you guys know what that is, but it's, like, goat cheese. And they put, put like, an artificial brandy on it and light it on fire and then um, squeeze lemons over it. It's a Greek... Um, it's like a Greek appetizer. If you go to like a Greek Coney Island or something like that, they usually have it at places like that. Um, but that is like the one thing that I could eat, and that's what I ate with Fiona too. And it's pretty much just like cheese on a pita. <laughs> and I ate it with Fiona during my entire pregnancy. I got it like once or twice a week from like the local Coney place. Um, and it's the same with me with this. Um, before I went on the Zofran during my seven weeks, um, I ate that a lot. My husband was making runs to go get it for me. And um, I had like lemon rice soup, which was from that same place. And grilled cheese. I mean like bread and cheese. That's pretty much like what I could eat. And I still would get sick with it. Um... But now being on the Zofran, um, I'm eating more foods, but I'm finding that um, when you aren't on medication, you can really kind of follow. If you're craving something, usually your body will be able to eat it. If something sounds really bad to you, usually your body will get rid of it, so you shouldn't have had it. Um, at least that is that was the case for me. Um, now being on the Zofran, I don't really have... I have some food aversions, but they're not as extreme as they were. So, like for instance, um, the second night or the, the second or third night that I was on the medication, I was feeling so great that I told my husband we need to go out to dinner. You know, I said I haven't been able to eat normally for like two weeks. Let's go out to dinner, and I want a steak. <sighs> which was not a good idea. Um, I went and got a steak. I went to, like, we went to Applebee's or whatever, and I got, like, the shrimp parmesan top steak or whatever, some ridiculous steak with, like, mashed potato or french fries um, and, like, vegetables, and, oh, my gosh. I was so sick. I got home, and I was throwing up. I was, sorry, TMI, having diarrhea. Um, my body, like, went insane. My stomach was so bloated. Like, it would not digest this food because it was way too much for me. Like, way too much for my system. From some, from going, like, looking back now, going from eating, like, nothing, not being able to keep anything down to, to like, trying to eat a steak dinner, was I insane? Probably. I feel like I was insane. Because, <laughs> looking back now, I'm like, oh my gosh, of course my body couldn't handle that. So that's something I've had to learn is that I have to like, I have to really be aware of what I'm eating because even if it sounds good, um, it might be too harsh for my system because um, I don't have the same kind of food aversions or the same awareness to food that's not good for me as I did um, not being on the Zofran. So that has been something that I've had to um to do, but I'm still eating saganaki. <laughs> I went and got it today with my grandma. <laughs> She's like, do you want to go out to eat? I'm like, sure, let's go to the Coney place. <laughs> they have really good saganaki. <laughs> so, you know, of course, that I had to go get that. It was just so good. Oh, my gosh. Um, so fattening because it's like cheese on a pita, but it's so good, though, so I didn't really care. Um, and I'm... 
I'm not feeling like as down as I was at seven weeks. I feel like I'm starting to feel a little bit better, but it also could be because I'm not getting sick all the time. Um, I still get sick occasionally being on the Zofran, but I'm not getting sick like five to seven times a day, like not holding anything down. Um, I'm just getting nauseous and throwing up once in a while. Um, I'm, I'm feeling more normal pregnancy morning sickness versus the extreme, which is what I was having. Um, I was having hyper, hypermesis, hypermesis, something like that. I don't know. There's a name for it, but it's like extreme pregnancy morning sickness. Um, I'm not having that anymore. Um, so that could definitely be why I'm feeling so much better. Um, it's because I'm not getting sick all the time. Um, the weather is starting to get a little bit nicer here too, so that definitely can play a role. Um, I'm still extremely exhausted. I feel tired all the time. Like, I'm exhausted. Now, Fiona has been sleeping through the night now that we've been giving her bottles before bed. Um, so that has helped, but I still feel so tired. I, it doesn't... It doesn't really change the fact of how tired I feel. Even if I'm getting more sleep at nighttime, I'm still waking up thinking, because I'm so used to waking up every three hours with her, my body still wakes up every three hours. And then when I get up, I realize, oh, it's in the middle of the night, I feel nauseous, I need to go to the bathroom, like, oh, I should check on her. <laughs> so, I don't know. Grass is always greener on the other side, I guess. And then when you get to the other side, you realize it's not. So, I don't know. Um... And I've had, like, really weird dreams, too. Like, really, really weird dreams, which I remember having with her. Um, and my chest is still not sensitive. I mentioned that, I think, in my five- and six-week video that I was really surprised about that. And I still am really surprised because they hurt so bad with Fiona, but they don't hurt now at all. Um, but... That's pretty much it. That's pretty much it for eight weeks. Um, I'm beginning to feel pregnant now. Um, I feel pregnant. My stomach feels a little bit heavier, even though I know it, that there's not a lot in there. It still feels heavier. Um, I am. I do have like a little pooch um, that I've noticed because when I wake up in the morning, my stomach is not flat anymore. I definitely have a little pooch, even when I have nothing in it, um, which. I knew that that would happen sooner than later because I was only seven months postpartum when I got pregnant. So my body and my uterus and everything is probably just like jumping right back into things now. So um, that is something. And I will do a belly shot um, probably for like my nine or ten week update. I'll start doing belly shots for you guys. Right now I just, I don't really feel like it and there's not a lot there so... That can wait, in my opinion. Um, but that's pretty much it for eight weeks, though. Um, I'm feeling pregnant. I'm trying to stay hydrated. Um, I got prenatal vitamins that are like horse pills. They're disgusting. Um, I took gummy prenatal vitamins with Fiona during my pregnancy. And these are free because they're a prescription, but I'm honestly probably going to end up paying the money for the gummy ones because they taste so much better. So, I'm probably going to get those. Um, but, yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. So, I hope that you are doing good. And happy Easter to those of you guys that celebrated. If not, happy spring. Um, it's Holy Week right now. And um, the first week of spring, I think. I think the first day of spring was a couple days ago. And um, things are blooming and the sun is out. And um, it's going to be a good year and a good spring. So I hope that you guys are enjoying this time and enjoying time with your family. And um, hope you guys have a good day and enjoy this weekend. Talk to you later.